let's get started. Let's launch our first NFT on the Wax blockchain using Atomic Assets. Log into your cloud wallet, and then we're gonna to go to NFT Creator and start a new collection. So name your collection, give it a display name, and fill out your collection description, and give it image, not the right image, so there you go. And website if you want to, market fee, and then we're going to create your collection. So done, there we go. Next, we move to schema. Remember that this cannot be changed once you create it. So these are the attributes to your collection. Um, this can be, this will be uh, specific to each collection and cannot be changed. So really think about this as you're filling it out, what you will need, um, and then give it a name. Double check, can't be unchanged, guys. So then we have a new template. So you can repeat this template. And then you want to fill out um, everything for your template. Um, again, cannot stress enough. Please double check stuff. I know from experience, I had to do this twice. <laughs> I think you should fill out as much info as possible. I think the more info, the better. People like to hear about your thoughts or you know be creative telling a story i think it makes it more personable and more enjoyable and so now i'm going to walk through how to add a back image so there i add a back image in schema and then when you make your template or make your your asset you'll add it to back image but i went to pinata.cloud and added my image there and then copied my hash and then used that key for my back image. And let me tell you something about doing this. Make sure that you have the right image and it works. And that's my back of my card. So then I add that down to the back image um, place. You see it's added there. Now this is what you don't do. You don't um, add your file and then click preserve file name. Do not do that, okay? I did that, I made a huge mistake. Um, and here's what happens. Atomic Hub can't recognize your image. It just sees a file. It doesn't show the image. How do I know? Because I asked Jonah. And Jonah was like, yeah, you probably clicked preserve file name. And I was like, yes. Developers know everything. So he helped me out. Here's another thing. This was way too big. Like, there's no way Atomic um, Hub would ever take this asset because the file is way too big. So what do you do? Pinata guys, the same, the same place I just showed you. So then give your max supply and create template. Success. So now we have our schema and our template. We can go down, see there's our template. And so now mint new asset. So use your template there. It's all populated and who is the asset owner it is me i'm going to do three copies and confirm i suggest doing one for the first time there's your new nft it was really easy guys i hope you liked that i had fun i learned a lot i hope you did too if you have any questions or comments leave them down below if there's anything that you feel like we should cover or you want us to cover I'll do my best to cover it um, like I did in this video. And our next video is going to be on how to create an NFT with a video. <laughs> Speaking of video. And so as always, wax on. Brilliant.